and thank you enough, oh God. And these people of God, your servants of God, the ones who loved you, oh God, we say thank you. We say thank you. And we give you praise, honor, and glory. Come on, clap your hands. Give God some real praise in this house. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Betty Aiken is coming at this time with our hymn of praise. Let's give her a hand. She Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven in nature sing. And heaven in nature sing. And heaven in nature, nature sing. Savior, let me the songs employ while hills and plains, hills and plains, repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy. Savior reign. Let me their songs employ. While fields and plains, while hills and plains, repeat the sounding joy. Repeat the sounding joy. Repeat the sounding joy.
many are glad about Jesus this morning? Hallelujah. He made a way out of no way. Hallelujah. We woke up in our right limb. Hallelujah. With the activities of our limb in our right mind. Hallelujah. We come to lift him up. We come to lift him up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the glory of the Lord. Praises of my King, rise among us, let it rise. Come on and stand on your feet and hear clear. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of
Worthy of all honor, hallelujah. 
hallelujah and we come to magnify him and glorify him hallelujah for his goodness the song says holy 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 to our king hallelujah for the lamb who was slain for our being hallelujah we cry out hallelujah hallelujah come on all over the room can you put your hands together hallelujah god we thank you for your presence today hallelujah we thank you for moving by your power and by your spirit hallelujah glory to your name come on clap yes lord
sanctuary cry all over the sanctuary worship hallelujah all over the sanctuary come on and honor the presence of your savior hallelujah come on and lift him from your heart this morning hallelujah come on we worship you with our whole heart mind and soul there is no other place and we would rather be in this moment but in your presence hallelujah that's why we lift up all say Come on, that's why we lift up all say, hallelujah, yes Lord, hallelujah. You see, sometimes we don't have the words to say and all we can do is moan, hallelujah, hallelujah. Sometimes all we can say is, oh Lord, help me, hallelujah, thank you Jesus, hallelujah. Sometimes all we can do, hallelujah, hallelujah, should begin to let the tears flow. Sometimes all we can do, hallelujah. Hallelujah, it's just labor for him. We cry out, oh, oh, oh. One more time, we cry out, oh, oh, oh. Let it rise, let it rise. Come on, I need everybody under the sound of my voice. Come on, right here to just slip your hands up and just begin to worship the Lord on this morning. Come on, begin to thank him for his goodness. Thank you for his kindness. Say, Lord, I thank you for keeping me. I thank you, Lord God, that you never took your hands off of me. I thank you, Lord God, and how you continue to sustain me. How you continue to make a way for me. God, I thank you for clarity. God, I thank you for wisdom. God, I thank you for an understanding of this morning. Because although, Lord God, with all that is going on around me, although I may not understand it, God, hallelujah, I know, Lord God, that you are working in the midst of it all, God. So therefore, in the midst of a chaotic atmosphere, in the midst of a chaotic climate, God, I'm going to continue to give your name glory because you alone are still worthy. You alone are still worthy. You alone are still worthy to be lifted up. Come on, come on. Lift up your heads. Only gates and be ye lifted. The everlasting doors. Somebody ask me, who is the king of glory? I said he's the Lord God, strong and mighty. Come on, who is the king of glory? Who is the king of glory? Who is the king of glory? Come on, somebody. You want to act like you know where you are today. Act like you know who you serve. We serve a great and a mighty good God who is deserving of all glory. Come on, open up your mouth. Hallelujah. And give God a shout in this place. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. I'll magnify him. I'll glorify him. I'll lift him up because he's worthy of all glory. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I said he's worthy of all glory. Let everything that has breath praise ye the Lord. Let everything that has breath praise ye the Lord. If you walked in here and you're breathing and you're capable of giving God praise, your mouth should be open. And because your mouth is open, that means your hands, they should automatically be lifted in the presence of the Lord. Magnify the Lord with me. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hey, Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We magnify your name. We magnify your name. Hallelujah. I don't know about anybody else. Hallelujah. But when I entered into the building on this morning, God was already here. That means there was an atmosphere that was already set up on our behalf to get whatever we need from the Lord today. I don't know about you all today, but when I walked in the building, I walked in here 
with an expectation of getting everything that I need from the Lord. And the Bashatan and the Basso. Yes, Lord. And the Basso. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. God, I magnify your name. I glorify your name. There is no God like our God. And if you can just join me for the next few seconds, hallelujah, in just reverencing our Savior and just reverencing our Redeemer, hallelujah, by just simply just slipping your hands up in His presence, hallelujah, and drawing your attention not to me because I can't physically do anything for anybody in this place. I can only lead you into his presence hallelujah if you would just begin to draw your attention to the heavens on this morning i don't know what you came in here with on this morning i don't know what you got going on in your personal lives hallelujah i don't know your situations i don't know your circumstances i don't know anything hallelujah hallelujah but i know a savior who does i know a god who knows every single thing about you I know a God who knows your needs, who knows your desires, who knows what you physically need. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So right here in these next few seconds, hallelujah, why don't you just begin to slip your hands up in the air? Hallelujah. Just for a moment, while you're in the presence of the Lord, forget about everything. Hallelujah. That's been weighing on you. That's been, hallelujah, that's been seeming like it's choking the life out of you. Everything that has been weighing on your back, everything, hallelujah, that you even left back at home, Hallelujah. If you would take this opportunity, hallelujah, to just draw closer to the presence of the Lord. Because in the presence of the Lord, there is liberty, there is safety, there is healing, there is peace, there is joy. Whatever you need, it's in the presence of the Lord. And we draw our attentions to the cross. Hallelujah. We want to put the attention back on the cross where it belongs. Hallelujah. We've directed and we've led the people of God, hallelujah, in this last season. Now, somebody say that was last season, but not in this season, because in this season, I promise you, I won't miss God. In this season, I won't become distracted. In this season, I won't play with my life. In this season, I'm going to be real about my walk and my relationship with God. Hallelujah, because I don't know about anybody else, but I can't afford to be distracted. That's my shit. I can't afford to miss out on what God has and desires to do in my life in this season. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The enemy, he has taken enough from you. The enemy, he has taken enough from you. Hallelujah. He has robbed you enough. But somebody say this time around, somebody say, this time around, we only got a few days left in this year, and God knows that it was a tiresome year, but in this next season, I'm determined, hallelujah, to see the hand of God upon my life, hallelujah, somebody ought to open your mouth and say, God's getting ready to do it for me, God's getting ready to bring me out, God's getting ready to bring me out. God's getting ready to bring me out. End of my shit. Hallelujah, God, I thank you and I magnify your name. Hallelujah. I don't mean to be selfish, but this next worship is for me. Hallelujah. And you ought to, hallelujah, truth be told, you ought to get a little bit selfish right now and tell your neighbor if you're sitting next to one, hallelujah, I can't help you in this instance right now, hallelujah, because there's something that I need from the Lord. So right now, hallelujah, I'm going to get what I need, hallelujah. I'm going to get what I need. I promise you that I will not leave this place the same way that I came, hallelujah, but I'm going to leave revived and restored. Somebody say, Lord, resuscitate me and my shit. Yes, Lord. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Be the center of our lives. Be the center of this place. 
be the center of our minds, be the center, hallelujah, of our spaces, God. I worship you in the beauty of holiness because there is no Savior like you, Lord God, and I live to worship you. It is my lifeline. God, I love you. We worship you all over the sanctuary. Jesus, be the center of it all. Jesus, be the center of it all. From the beginning to the end, it will always be, always be you, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, be the center of our church. Jesus, be the center of our church. Yes, Lord. From the beginning to the end, it will always be. Always be you, Jesus. Jesus, for nothing else matters. Nothing in this world will do. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We magnify you. Hallelujah. So Jesus, God, the center. Everything revolves around you. Jesus, you at the center of it all. Oh, at the center. God, we 
we ask, so oh God, that you don't stop here, God, but know, God, that your promise will continue to be revealed in this sanctuary today. God, we bless you. We honor your presence. We lift you. We worship you. And we trust that you have been pleased with our worship and with our praise on today. So, Lord God, we praise you. We honor you. And we thank you for your goodness, your kindness, hallelujah, and your everlasting love towards us. In the matchless name of Jesus, hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, at this time we're getting ready to move and shift to another hallelujah space in this service, hallelujah. As you're standing, I'm going to ask, hallelujah, if you begin to put your hands together as the shepherd of this house, hallelujah, is preparing himself to take his platform. If you would join me, hallelujah, in lifting up honor to not only our Savior, hallelujah, but to the priest of this house on this morning. As I introduce to you, hallelujah, and present to others, our own shepherd, leader, and pastor, John David Wright, as he's coming to you at this time. Come on and give a praise to Come him. on, clap your hands and give God praise. Oh, how I love Jesus. Come on, anybody love him? Oh, how I love Jesus. Yes, God. Anybody love the Lord? Oh, how I love Jesus. I love him because he heard Love me. I wish I could get you to just lift your hand. Tell how I love Jesus. Tell how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Ooh, I love him because. I need some saints to just lift your hands. Lift us hands and say yes. Come on. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yes. He made a way. Anybody know he made a way? He made a way. My, my, my. He made a way. Oh, Lord, Lord. He made a way. He made a way. Hey. Yeah. He made a way. Just look at somebody and tell them God must really love you because you still here. Come on, you ain't tell the right person. Tell them God must really love you because you still here. Anybody glad you're still here? People dying left and right. Anybody glad you're still alive? Somebody throw back your head and shout, I'm still here. Hey! Yeah, yes, yes. All right. Be seated if you can. Woo! I don't know about you, but every time I get a chance, I'm gonna give God the best praise I can give Him. Because truth be told, I should be dead sleeping in my grave and not on my way to heaven but on my way to hell but he made death behave amen somebody shout I'm glad about it we thank God for first lady right clap your hands for her. letting the Lord use her in a mighty way I feel like God is going to do something amazing in this place today sister Lynn I think God going I think he up to something See, some of y'all sitting there, this is the last Sunday of the year. Don't you know a lot of people didn't make it to see the last Sunday of the year? 
But I'm so glad that I made it to see the last Sunday of the year. 52 Sundays. From the first Sunday, I didn't know if I'd make it to the second. From the second, I didn't know if I'd make it to the third. From the third, I didn't know if I'd make it to the fourth. From the fourth, I didn't know if I, but I made it. Somebody clap your hands and give them glory. Yes. You made it. Just the Tasha, you made it. You made it. Oh. Pastor Parker, we made it. And we thank God for Apostle Alexi Kelly all the way from Jacksonville, Florida. My friend, my big brother, we've been down there for years with my dad. So many years. God bless Pastor Parker. Amen. And the first gentleman... God bless you. God bless First Lady Nikki. Amen. And so many of my friends that I see from Jacksonville, Florida. God bless Sister Lorraine Williams. Bless you. Singing woman. She got a new CD out, a new single out. Amen. We're going to support that. Amen. But this, we want to receive the tithe and offering at this time. Amen. We know that tithing is right. The Bible said, bring all the tithe into the storehouse. Amen? And he promises to bless you tremendously. He said in his word that he'll rebuke the devourer for your sake. Amen? And if you're a tither, you're going to live in the overflow. And God only acts for 10%. You go to your average restaurant, the, the waiter wants 15% or more. Sometimes they take it out your check before you even see it. Amen. Some of our medical insurance is more than 10%. Amen. So we want all our tithers to be faithful to that. That's how the church sustains itself. That's how the church is able. We're going to give you the Zelle and the, and the cash app in a minute. That's how the church is able to do what we're doing. We're yet in the middle of our renovation project, and God is going to turn this place into a beautiful sanctuary. Amen. We got to go through some dust and we got to go through some things and some bricks and all. I thank God for those that have been donating funds for the bricks. But God going to get the glory. Amen. So we want all our tithes to stand and make your way into the center. Aisle. Anybody glad you still got a job in this season? Amen. Our, if you want to use our cash app, our cash app is dollar sign new grace tab. For those of you that are watching online, for our online members that are tithing, dollar sign new grace tab. And our Zelle is Pastor Dave 14 at gmail.com. Pastor Dave 14 at gmail.com. I want all the tithers to stand and make your way into the center aisle. That's God's miracle aisle. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God for the faithful tithers. If you are a tither, but this isn't your tithing pay week, or you did it online already, we want you to stand as well so we can acknowledge you as a faithful supporter of the ministry. We have a great church here. 
Uh oh, don't, don't scare me like that. I, we got a great church here. Amen. God has been good to us. Many churches have shut down for good. Amen. Many churches have closed down, but we are still here. Many churches have sold out, but we are still here. Many church doors are still closed, been closed since March of 2020, but we are still here. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to give you another minute for those of you that are still filling out those tithing envelopes. Hallelujah. God has so many great things in store. Come on, hold that tithe up in your right hand. The right hand is the hand of blessings. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you for our jobs. We thank you for our increase. We thank you for all that you blessed us with so far. But we're so excited about what you're getting ready to do. You're getting ready to pour us out blessings that we don't have room enough to receive. You're getting ready to enlarge our territory. You're getting ready to help us to live in the overflow. Do it in Jesus' name. And everybody shout, here I go. Trust in God again. Come on, bring your tithe. Say, I'm blessed. God has so many great things in store. Come on, come on. God has so. Can't you see so many great things in store? Dollar sign, new grace path. Dollar sign, new grace path. Somebody give that young lady the cash app. Cause it might, I know it's on there, but if I'm having problems seeing it, amen. I pray that everybody had a glorious Christmas. Amen. I hope you didn't eat too much and you can't give God praise effectively. I was, I was out there with my brother, Derek, and one of my nephews shot me in the eye with a Nerf gun. I'm seeing five of you. I got, a, I got 500 people out there I'm seeing right now. I got shot in my right eye. A little bad thing. You know the little Nerf guns? With the, and he hit me point blank right up on me. Bow. Oh, Lord have mercy. Yeah, I guess he get it from, from when I'm bad, when we were bad. Don't you know when you bad as a kid, your kids grow up and they start doing the same stuff? Hallelujah. Amen. I'm so excited about the preacher this morning. We're getting ready to hear from the man of God. Amen. But just before we go there, um, I'm, I want to get these out the way. John. All right, thank God for my son, John. He, he moved back. All right, um, on this week, I'm going to need some of the men, if you can, those that are available. And I know most, most of us, most of the men are home because they don't, you know, they, the season ain't right for some of them to come out. But I'm going to need some help because we're going to have to clear these side offices, clear them out. If I got to get some um, Julios. Yeah, they will. Yeah. I, if I, if I got to get some of them to help us. We go to help. In Deacon Park, I'm going to need your help with the stuff that's back there because we're renovating. Let, just let me know what needs to stay and what needs to go. Because when the, the renovation project is, I'm hearing a hum. 
Hallelujah. Y'all hear it too, right? All right. That fixed that. The renovation project does not start, just does not stop out there, but we are also renovating our pulpit. Amen. We're stretching the pulpit all the way. So we'll be, we'll be moving these offices to another place in the sanctuary. We're doing a full renovation. Amen. Amen. So we need your prayers and your support and your faith eyes. My father taught me what faith eyes were. He would see something and it didn't look like what it needed to be, but he saw it as what it would be. Amen. So I want you to use, utilize your faith eyes and see God doing something great. And even if you don't understand it, say, I trust pastor's vision. Amen. Well, why are he doing that? Well, I trust pastor's vision. Well, what? that don't make no sense. Well, I trust pastor's vision. Well, that, well that, that, that don't, that's not how it used to be. Well, I trust pastor's vision. Well, it's been this way for years. Well, I trust pastor's vision. Well, he shouldn't even be the pastor. <laughs> well, I trust pastor's vision. Amen. Last week, we had a great time with the ugly sweater day. Amen. And we had some people that won the ugly sweaters. Amen. Mother Hudson was one of them. And I told you I was going to get you some gift certificates for wearing them ugly sweaters. Who else was one? I think uh, Valentine and, and who? Your daughter. Where's she at? Well, you come, get, you come get hers for her. She got a $15 gift certificate for McDonald's. I know she like McDonald's. My grandmother would call it McDonald's. Here you go. Come on, Sister Crystal. You make sure you give it to her. You don't eat McDonald's? So, you make, so she definitely going to get it. Amen. You can get 15 McChicken sandwiches with that. Yes, you can. Mother Hudson, you eat McDonald's? I know you do. Come on over here. Get this. You, well, your grandkids, they probably eat it. There you go. You can get five uh, Happy Meals with this. <laughs> chicken sandwich. There you go. Get the McChicken. You, you got to try the McChicken with Big Mac sauce. They'll do that for you. Valentine, I know you eat McDonald's. You can get all the Happy Meals you can handle. Matter of fact, make sure G-Ma G take you to McDonald's today and you treat everybody, all right? When you get there, tell them I'm paying. Bless your heart. Clap your hands, give God a pray. All right, the choir is coming for a, a quick A selection. Come on, Grace Choir, Grace Ensemble. Come on, the Grace Ensemble is coming. Amen. And y'all pray for the choir. They, when y'all see them singing, they have not had rehearsal. They get the song sent to them and they have to learn it on their own. But this, this is a recording choir. Y'all get on your feet and clap your hands. Listen. Oh, what? A pretty little baby. Pretty little baby. Born in a man. Oh, what 
A pretty little baby, Jesus. Jesus. A pretty little baby, pretty little baby, born in a manger, yeah. Oh, a pretty little baby, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh, come, come, let us adore him. Come, let us adore him. Let us adore him, Christ our Savior. Oh, come, come, let us adore him. Come on. Clap your hand and give God a praise. Everyone is standing all over the house. God bless Deacon Wilson. Good to see him all the way from South Carolina. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. The presence of the Lord is already in this place. Amen. And we're excited about the word of God. I'll say it again. We're excited about the word of God. And I thank God for Apostle Kelly. Amen. And his family that is with him. Amen. Wave your hands, family. Amen. Amen. They came all the way from Florida, y'all. They hanging, hanging out in New York. Amen. And, and I thank God for this anointed man of God. He's been a friend of our family for years. And he's an anointed musician. I know that. 
but he's an anointed preacher of the gospel. Amen. Amen. And we thank God for First Lady Kelly, who's here with him as well. And I want you to clap your hands for this great man of God as he comes to bring forth the word. Receive all the way from Jacksonville, Florida, Apostle, Pastor Alexi Kelly. Point your hand this way and shout, preach the word. the Lord the best praise that you can everybody you do it good but you can give the Lord the best praise that you can for as in him we live we move we have our being and certainly we are grateful to you you and you amen you may take your seats at this time we are grateful and thankful to God for we greet you in the name of Jesus Christ for it is in that name that every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. You know what my desire is? I'm going to live so God can use me anywhere, anytime. Y'all know that, don't you? I'm going to live so God can use me anywhere. Any time, come on, clap. I'm gonna live so God can use me anywhere, anytime. Oh, I'm gonna live so God can use me anywhere. Let me see you clap your hands. saints at the season saints clap your hands show them. come on let's show them how we do it show the young people how you do it here come on I get joy when I think about what is done for I get joy when I think about
on, give the Lord a great big hand for a Jesus Christ. And then let's give the Lord a hand for, amen, this wonderful pastor. Pastor, come on, and amen, the elect lady, right? Come on, let's give the Lord a great hand for her. And certainly to all of the ministers of the gospel, to my wife, who's from the Bronx. Y'all make some good women up here. Amen. I said y'all make some good women up here. Uh-huh. She, she's from the Bronx, and I'm grateful, thankful to her. Amen. And for my family, Pastor Parker, amen, and Elder Parker, and amen to all of my family. Thank God for you, you, and you. How many of you believe that the Bible is right? How many of you got your Bible with you? Matthew chapter 18, verse 18, you already know that where any two of three do what? Gathered where? In my where? Name. There will I what? And then Matthew chapter 18 and 19 says what? Where any two of you, y'all there yet? Where any two of you what? Do what? Touch and what? Look at what kind of power that you have while being in the presence of God. And if you wish to realize that, now do you have your Bible? I want you to read it that you see what kind of power. Now, if you wish to read that backwards, it reads like this. It says, number one in 20, it says, uh, if any two or three of you gathered in my name, there will I be in the midst. And then if you back up to 19, while I'm in the midst, if any two of you touch and agree on earth, asking anything. Jesus said, I'm going to do it that my father be glorified. And just in case your mind is wavered, back up to 18 and 18 where he says, whatsoever you bind on earth, I'm going to bind it in heaven. Whatsoever you loose on earth, I'm going to loose it in heaven. Which means while he's in your presence, you are made available to ask him for anything. Touch somebody beside and say, neighbor, by faith, I'm touching you right now, believing God for raises and bonuses, benefits, sales and commissions, retirements and early retirements, favorable settlements, land and property, rebates and returns, checks in the mail, gifts and surprises, finding money. I found some money the other day. Bills paid off, bills decreased. Tell somebody to say, I'm touching you right now. Because I'm believing God that by the days, you ain't touched the right neighbor. Let somebody go, go find you somebody and just tell them, I'm agreeing with you right now that things are turning around in your favor. Amen. You didn't find the right neighbor, get up off your seat and go and find somebody that look like they got some faith. And tell your neighbor, neighbor, things are turning around for you. You still ain't found nobody. I'm just trying to tell you, obedience is better than a sacrifice. Your healing is in the hand of somebody else. Touch your neighbor. You got to hold on to that. You got to believe that and know that you know that you know that you know. See, I'm in the church where the generate was who's on the Lord's side. Let me ask you a question. Whose side are you on? Come and say, I'm on the Lord's side. Yeah. Reverend Timothy Wright was before his time. Mm-hmm. I was waiting on what the Lord would have me to share with you, but Pastor really gave me the message where he said, now, at the last time you came, you was not in renovation, but you're going to have to come up, amen, and come through the side door. And uh, the message hit me that when you have to close one door, There's another one open. Touch somebody and say, your perception is what you see. But your reaction 
to what you see tells the story. I wish I had somebody could dance right there. Tell somebody to say, don't wait till the battle is over. While I'm going through the process, I'm making progress. Because behind every test is a testimony. We can lay and do for a night. But I just... And all year the Lord has been sharing with me that you have to be careful because when your focus change, your feelings are change. And when your faith change, your favor will change. And when your friends change, your finances will change. But you've been hanging around broke folks so long that you feel that's how you have to live. But when you are a kingdom child, I say when you're a kingdom child, Tell somebody to say, you are a kingdom child. You are of the royal priesthood. You are a holy nation. You are peculiar people. And when you are a kingdom child, you'll spoil. Do I have any spoiled folk in here? Oh, you know you spoiled. Anybody that tell you you are the head and not the tail? You are the lender and not the borrower? You above and not beneath, and you have power of thought, power and authority. But you got to learn how to do is open your mouth. Acts chapter 16. I'm gonna show you something because I want you to know that while we're in the process, don't let the process hinder your progress. Isn't it funny we could not see? Don't look like what it is. Just keep on looking. It, and you know what? You will never reach transformation if you're not willing to go through transition. I'm giving y'all some stuff to write down. Real, real message don't just leave you inspired. It ought to leave you instructed. And we've been shouting folk and they've been living the opposite of heaven. But write this down, write this down while you're writing. In order to get to transformation, you gotta go through transition. See, when you came up and you was watching the, the bricks and you was watching the things and you looking at the building, cracking the building. But yet there came a time because it's going through renovation or a transition. There's some things that had to happen. See, if I'm not willing to get rid of the get rid of the old, ain't no need of me embracing for the new. Mm -hmm. If any man be in Christ, he's what old thing what, and all things what, amen. And sometimes you can get complacent in the old till you shoot down the new. But God is a transitional. He keep moving. And so in Acts chapter number 16, you know this familiar story. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed. They were going through a process. But you got to know this, that preaching will get you in trouble. Some of y'all, that's why I know everybody want to fool with you because you ain't got in trouble. But when you're telling people the truth, preaching will get you in prison, but praising will get you out. And this example of Paul and Silas is they are in jail for truth. The Bible said in verse 16, it came to pass as we went, and he gives a story as we went into prayer. Look what the writer says. 
there was a damsel possessed with a spirit of divination that met us, which brought her masters much gain by soothsaying. She was a fortune teller. And the same followed, but thank God, and I've always been sharing with people this. How many of you know we got some folk out here that's crazy? I ain't talking about your cousins. Oh my God. You know there's some folk that get so, but can I share with you this? The devil never have a person so much that they don't recognize the spirit of God. This woman was possessed. Yet she followed Paul and Silas. The Bible says, and she cried saying, these men are, she even recognized who they were. They are servants of the most high God. Which show under, she had that right. Which show under us the way of salvation. Now what is salvation? It's spiritual freedom. When you talk about spiritual freedom, uh, God gives you peace. And he gives you peace when folk try to come up against you. See, remember I was telling you about your perception, how you look at things. Tell somebody, say, be careful how you look at things. Because you can be one way in thinking, one way in what you see. The Bible says, I cause your enemies to be your footstool. And you remember when Pastor got up? See, if Satan would have had his way, he would have been dead. But you ought to thank God that he sustained death and didn't give you what you deserve. Instead of giving you justice, he gave you mercy. Fact about it, he looked beyond your faults and met every one of your needs. And so here these, this woman who has this spirit is following the right people. These men, but she's following the right men with the wrong spirit. These men are servants of the most high God which show unto us the way of spiritual freedom. And this did she many days. But Paul being grieved, tell somebody to say, how long will you take it? Paul being grieved turned and said, uh, to the spirit I command thee. You have the power. Stop letting folk get away with having havoc in your life. Just like right now, some of you all got folk that you're connected to on Facebook that ain't never like you. Some of y'all got contacts in your phone right now that you know you should have been deleted. Oh, y'all ain't gonna talk to me. Some of us have allowed people, and one of the reasons, praise the Lord, that you're going through some of the things that you're going through is because you just refuse to detach yourself from people who don't mean you no good. But touch somebody beside and say, neighbor, I got to make some changes. Don't let your process hinder your progress. And here they are. Yes. The Bible says that when... Uh, she did this many days and was grieved and turned and said uh, to the spirit, I command thee in the name. Look at what Paul said. In the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And immediately, now if Jesus has this kind of power, then what about the greater that's on the inside of you? If Jesus had this kind of power, what about the greater on the inside of you? The Bible says when he said it, that that spirit had to come out of her the same hour. And when her master saw that the hope, uh, that word hope there means expectation of their gains. In other words, they knew how much money that they had they was going to get as long as she had that spirit on her. They caught Paul and Silas and drew them into the marketplace unto the rulers and brought them to the magistrates saying, these men being Jews do exceedingly trouble our city and teach customs which are not lawful for us to receive. Is anybody happy about what the Bible says? Lawful for us to receive, neither to observe being Romans. And the multitudes rose up because any time, see that's why some folk don't like you praising God. Because when you praise, not praising God, you're doing exactly what the devil wants you to do. Amen. Sometimes the lady even doing praise and worship, sometimes it seems like the reason why you're having such a strain because everybody ain't on the same page. 
Y'all ain't going to talk to me here. Sometimes worship and praisers don't understand that you just can't do worship and praise. They that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Everybody can praise him, but everybody can't worship him. Everybody can go to Walmart, but everybody can't go to Sam's. You know what? Because you got to have a membership to go to Sam's. You got to have a membership to go to Costco. And everybody, when you're coming into the house of the Lord, if you don't, if you, you suppose to enter into his gates with thanksgiving, into and to his courts with praise, be thankful unto him and bless his name. But everybody don't come with the right spirit. And you can tell that because anytime that the worship leader say, lift your hand, you sitting there with your. Tell somebody beside you, say, neighbor, what did you come for? Hallelujah. But when you come with a made up mind, when you came up, amen, that if nobody get theirs, I'm going to get mine. Ain't nobody got to dance. I ain't got to have the organ player. I ain't got to have the drummer. But when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, my soul cries out. Hallelujah. I thank God for saving me. These men here, they caused havoc. They weren't trying to be everybody's friend. They weren't trying to get along with everybody. They had a purpose. And the purpose that they had was for people to be delivered and set free. Bible said when they brought them to the magistrates, uh, they said that these men exceedingly do trouble our city. They even teach customs which are lawful, not lawful for us to receive. And notice the Bible said that the multitudes rose up together against them and the magistrates tore off their clothes and commanded to beat them. But notice here y'all that when they had laid and when you are in this thing uh, called Christianity, when you are saved and when you are Holy Ghost filled, folk not going to like you. But I'm so glad that, that Jesus said in his, in, his, in his message on the mount, he said, blessed are they who are persecuted for righteousness sake. He said, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. You got to understand, hallelujah, that if you don't have no haters, then you ain't doing the right thing. I've learned not to look at my haters as haters, but look at my haters as motivators. Because if it had not been for my haters, I would not be where I am today. You ought to thank God for your naysayers. And you ought to thank God for those who feel that they have power over the devil. Can I tell you something? Yeah, Many folk are, are afraid of the COVID. They're afraid of the virus. But can I tell you that when the spirit of the Lord is present, you're not going to tell me that COVID got more power than the Holy Ghost. Because on the day of Pentecost, COVID was there. What you mean it was there? Sick, sickness was there. But you know how the saints did it. Everybody started praying. Everybody got on one accord. Everybody made up in their mind. We going to keep on praying. I thought I was in the church of God in Christ. And ain't no harm done calling on the name of Jesus. You know what makes a difference for us. If my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked, their wicked ways. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Don't let the process hinder your progress. Shout yeah. Let me preach a minute. So the Bible said, and when they had laid many stripes upon them, they cast them in the prison, charging the jailer to keep them safe. Who having received such a charge, he thrusted them uh, in the prison uh, and made their feet uh, fast in the stocks uh, while they were going through uh, 
going through the process. We still dealing with the pain. Not being been beat with stripes. We're still dealing with crisis. We're still dealing with the problem. We're still dealing with the trouble. But look at what they did, y'all. At midnight, Paul and Silas, they prayed and sang praises. And the prisoners heard them. Might I suggest to you your reaction while going through the process have the deliverance of somebody else. Keep on praying. I feel like preaching. Keep on singing. I feel like preaching. Keep on getting happy. Keep on dancing. You know what happened. Let me share. Let me tell you. They kept on praying. They kept on praising. Keep on praying. Keep on praising. Some through the fire. Some through the flood. Some through the water. But the blood. Y'all don't hear me here. Ah, the blood. The blood that reaches to the highest mountain. Flows to the lowest valley. The blood. Look what happened. We won't stop. We won't stop praying. We won't stop praising. I don't know what they sung. Lord. But if it was for me, I would have had the song. I've been through many tears and sorrows. I've had many questions for tomorrow. There's been times I didn't know right from wrong. But in every situation, God gave me blessed consolation to let me know it was only coming to make me strong through it all. Through it all. Bible say because of their persistence because of their determination because of their wholeness to press through at midnight while they was praying while they were singing praises suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prisons was shaken and immediately all the doors why don't you grab somebody tell your neighbor how you act during this season can shake my foundation and open my doors find you somebody who look like they got some faith and say neighbor keep on praying keep on praising weeping me in due for a night but joy 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 Whoa. yeah I said I heard the Bible saying many are the afflictions of the righteous but the long will deliver us. I heard Paul say but I reckon that these light afflictions are but for a moment but they work it for us a more exceedingly weight in glory so I'm trying to tell you keep on praying keep on fasting keep on holding on suddenly does the mind say suddenly because what they were doing they didn't stop you can't stop it even when you're going through you got to make up in your mind if mama don't go father don't go sister don't go brother don't go i 
go if I have to go all by myself. I'm trying to tell you, don't let your process hinder your progress. Shout it! And immediately, all the doors were open and everyone's bands were loosed. Why were they loose? Because Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises. They weren't concerned about their situation. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. Some of us hang around selfish folk. They wanna get their deliverance. All you want is your deliverance. You don't want nobody else to be delivered. Paul and Silas, they said we gonna pray and we gonna sing praises. And the Bible said the prisoners heard them. Hold on, fellas. They heard them. Yo. Things would change for you by how you act while going through crisis. Other people be delivered by how you act while going through crisis. That's a matter say, neighbor, your reaction while you're going through something. See, what happens to us is we can get so bogged down with our own situation to if we forget to praise God. If the truth be told you got on a mask but you don't know what a blood clot is you trying to make sure your mask on but you don't know what a heart attack is you don't know what an aneurysm is It ain't really the mask to protect you. It's the blood of Jesus. I said, I'm sick. I said, I'm not. I'm just, I'm just sharing with you. And many times you're, you're protecting yourself one way, but you're leaving yourself exposed so many other different ways. But when you know who Jesus is, and you have a relationship with him. He'll talk to you. We all in prison. We all talking about all this. But there are two fellows over there. Who praying and singing praises. They began to shut up about their own situation. And the Bible says they, they heard them. Tell somebody say, neighbor, get around somebody who knew how to act while going through a crisis. When you come through the door here, when I thought about it, last time I came, I came through the doors in the front. And when I came today, it was telling me about the renovation. The Lord began to share with me better days are here. Touch somebody and say better days. Look at somebody beside you. Look at them in the eye. Even if, even if you can't stand to look at them, still look at them. 
Both of their eyes ain't together. If one of them done went left and the other one went right, still look at them. If they got something hanging out their nose, they just look at them and say to them, I declare unto you that better days. I said better days. I don't believe y'all know that I say better days. Better. Oh, touch somebody, just go I, jump up on your feet and go tell three people better, 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 better. I said jump up on your feet, go tell two or three people better, 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 better. Yow! Better days. Oh, yeah. Better, 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 better. Yeah, better. Oh, 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 yeah, better days. Le Leandria said better days, but pastor said it like this. Miracles, 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 miracles. I see miracles. Hallelujah. I got to move on now, but touch somebody say, neighbor, just one more time. Shake the hand and say, in the name of Jesus, I declare and decree what you've been praying for. God said, if any two or three, two of you touch and agree, He's saving your family. He's healing your body. He's moving your finances. I decree it. I'm touching. I'm believing. Now praise him for it. Praise him. Every head bowed, every eye closed. I may not came for everybody, but I came for somebody. I didn't come for financially, finally. And I have to tell you this right now. Whatever the pastor was going to seed into me, I'm putting it right back into this church because I'm seeding into the restoration project. Well, Y'all don't hit me here. I believe God. Thank God for a working wife. And a working church. Every head bowed, every eye closed. I want to talk to somebody. And this, I don't want you to go in next year. We're getting ready for 2022. Very quickly. I want you to listen to me, God. When we was coming up in school. You was not getting A, B, C, D, E, or F. In elementary school and head start and preschool and kindergarten, they only gave you three letters. One was a S, one was a N, one was a I. S meant satisfactory. What N meant? What does I mean? Incomplete. Now I want you to be honest with me today. And if you're in here right now and God graded you on your prayer life, if you wouldn't get satisfactory, I want you to get out of that seat right now and make your way up to this altar. What if God graded you on your prayer life? Would you get S, N, or I? What if God graded you on your praying life, your prayer life? Would you get an S, N, or I? What if God graded you on your Bible study reading? Would you get an S, N, or I? What if God graded you on your tithing and your offering? Would you get an S, N, or I? If you're in here right now and you know that you wouldn't get satisfactory 
at the end of the day when God grade all your letters would you get a passing or failing if you know that you would not pass I don't want you to look around I want you to make your way up here to this altar right now get out of that seat now somebody moving somebody moving right now right now you know without a shadow of a doubt I don't care how much you say amen but you've missed the mark in so many different ways I don't care if you're elder minister I don't care if you're praise team leader you know if the Lord was to come back right now you being honest with yourself you know that you're not where you need to be to go back with the Lord we have faked the funk for so long we have said one thing but done another let me really come down your street some of you all have been saved a long time but you've been saved and coming to church in a new car by yourself get down to the altar now because God never called you to be selfish when God saved you he saved you to be a blessing to somebody else and many of you all who are in here right now you know I know I'm not where I need to be some of y'all ain't went to nobody nursing home ain't prayed for no sick ain't fed no hungry ain't clothed no naked and you know that's a part of the great commission if I'm talking to you and you know that's you get up right now and come on Lord help me because I've been letting my situation hinder my progress while going through the process if I'm talking to you get up here now preacher I'm saved but I know I'm not where I need to be to go back with the Lord oh yes I come to grace I dance and I shout but God knows where you was last night he know where you was last week last month he's an omniscient God all knowing he's omnipotent all powerful He's omnipresent. He's everywhere at the same time. The old saints used to say, you can't hurry God. Oh, no, you just kind of got to wait. They sung a song and said, I'm running, trying to make a hundred. Because 99 and a half won't do. If I'm talking to you now, come on. I was preaching at a ministry one night. And the Lord, I don't go into the prophecy unless the Lord pastor gives me directly what to say I don't play with that law I know that he didn't win the souls is wise that's way mine that's why you got all the gifts the singing the play and the preaching those are all evangelism tools you don't see the best of your pastor behind this pulpit you got to put him where people are give him a keyboard and give him a mic he draws his most anointing when he's operating in his element I looked at some projects I said to myself now all the time that we are catering sometimes to people but you really want to see the best of him God would never give him all of those talents to be just confined to these four walls but I promise you if you just seed into his ministry and when he goes out watch the power of God that radiate that draws people oh y'all ain't gonna talk to me Hallelujah. Because at the end of the day, it's not what we drive. It's not where we live or what we wear. It's he that when his souls is wise. And so those who are here right now, I was preaching in the church. And while I was preaching in the church, the Lord specifically and told me to tell those who was elders. Who were sleeping with the urshes. And if they didn't get it straight, they were going to hell. I said, Lord, they're going to look at me like I'm crazy when I tell them that. But when I told them, it amazed me, Pastor, because the elders start coming out the pulpit and the urchins start coming off the door. How many know God ain't playing? Touch somebody and say, neighbor, if you know that you would not get a passing grade, get up here right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There's some who have came. There's others who need to come. Those who know the words of prayer began to pray right now. That Satan's stronghold off the minds of these people will be broken right now. Pray right now. That there's some in the Bible said there's a way that seemeth right unto man. But the end thereof is destruction. And if you're in here right now. And you know that's you that need to come. Come now. Come now. Come now. 
Come now, come now. I'm getting ready to pray. Come now. Come now. Come now. Come now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come now. Come now. I want to be used, Lord. I'm tired of living. I've barely slipped through death this year. But God, I'm tired of living the way I'm living. I want to be better. There's a few more now. All that God has given you all. And some of you all have did nothing but use the spirit of procrastination and excuses to not using what God has given you. Come on now. Come on now. Don't let it be said too late. Come on now. God has given you all gifts that you all with certain gifts that you've been hesitant. Some of y'all have the gift of laying on of hands. Some of y'all have the gift of encouragement. And some of y'all, when God say yes, you've been telling God no. But it's time now for you to come forth. Come. Hallelujah. Come now. Come now. I'm getting ready to pray. Those who are up here, lift your hands now. Lift your hands. The first thing that you need to do is simply go to God and say, I'm sorry, God. I'm sorry because when you breathed into me the breath of life, you gave me everything I needed to be successful. I've been stressful because stress always comes out of disobedience. Our way leads to stress. His way leads to success. And we are given the choice to either be stressful or successful. And Jesus said, I'm not going to fight you, God. If it be thy will, let this cup pass for me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine will be done. Lift your hands up now and tell the Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I do your will. I follow your way. Yes, Lord, I'll obey you. Yes, Lord, I'll walk where you want me to walk. I'll talk where you want me to talk. I live how you want me to live. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, somebody open your mouths up. Come on, open your mouths up. Open your mouths up. Open your mouths up. Open your mouths up. I am free. Praise the Lord. I'm free. No longer bound. No more chains holding me. My soul is resting. What? It's just another blessing. Praise the Lord. Clap your hands if you believe it. I'm free. I'm free. I got to move on. Praise the Lord. I'm free. No longer bound. No more chains holding me. My soul is resting. It's just a blessing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm free. I want you now. Amen. I'm getting ready to release this mic, but I want to say just a few things. And I'm going to give it back to Pastor. Listen. How many of y'all in here have ever had a birthday party? Raise your hand. When you had a birthday party, do you remember all of the people that came to your birthday party? That you invited? I'm going to show you how to pack the church. Shh. Bring it down. I want y'all I want y'all to get this. Say this with me. One plus one equal two. Now, for those that write and write this next to it. One plus one equal two. Right next to two, write confidence. One plus one equals what? Two. Two equals what? If one person can win one person, they'll gain confidence. Two plus two equals what? Four. Beside four, I want you to write the word formula. Formula. 
Four times four equals what? Sixteen. Four times four equals what? Right next to sixteen, I want you to write capital. If you follow the formula, you have confidence. Confidence four. Two plus two equals four. That is formula. That means you have the ability to teach others what you have been taught. They're going to three times that. They're going to make 16. That's capital. And you know what happens when capital hit? There's no more lack. If you don't believe that, Jesus turned the world upside down with 12. But 12 men that followed him day for day for three years. Sunday school teacher, can you imagine what we would be? If we was consistent in Sunday school, if we was consistent in Bible study, and if we brought somebody with us, look at somebody and say, God called you and chose you to be a blessing to somebody else. Give the Lord great big praise. That's what it is. Y'all may be seated. Some of y'all got saved, un unsaved loved ones. Don't let your child stay home. When we was coming up, it was not an option. How many of y'all say that's true? It wasn't an option. Not some of y'all. We had a sycamore tree. Pastor was talking about some of the things we used to do. When I was younger, I was so bad, they sat me between two deaconesses. One of them was my mama. Back then, them days, everybody could beat you in the church. Y'all go hold a minute. Y'all remember them days? Everybody could beat you. And I was kind of bad, so I was stealing out of my mama's pocketbook. She had these little pills. They were square. God knows I thought they was chewing gum, spearmint. I didn't know they were phenomint. Why y'all looking like y'all don't know what phenomens is in New York? And I was just a chewing up something. And every time she looked, I stopped chewing. But when I tell you something down inside of me, about 15 minutes start telling me to go ahead. And back then, them days, they taught you not to walk when the preacher was preaching. Why y'all looking at me like I'm the only one know what I'm talking about? They made you get some water and use the restroom before service. And when the preacher get up, you wasn't moving. I'm just a chewing. Something go to bubbling down on the inside of there. And I told my mama I got to go. She said, I know you ain't saying you got to go while the preacher's preaching. I, I said, she said, you ain't going nowhere. About five minutes later, it got to bubbling again. I said, mama, I really got to go. She said, I done told you, you ain't going nowhere. Well, maybe two minutes later, mama, I really got to, really got to go. She said, all right, boy, I'm going to take you. But when you get out here, I'm going to put something on you. Across the street, they had a sycamore tree. You know, them sycamore limbs, the kind that make a noise. <laughs> mama told my behind up. And then had the nerve to tell you, you better not make one noise in church. How many had them kind of parents? I had the hiccups the whole way. <laughs> now y'all can say what you will or may, but what has happened is we have left our foundation. I, I, I'm going to let you go. We have compromised so much. Church folks sitting quiet and still, acting like they don't know what the Holy Spirit is. We don't get in the spirit. This is a Kojic church. We tarry in the church of God. Did I say do what? We had shut in. Why y'all looking like it? Reverend, Reverend Timothy right and see if it was good for the goose, it's good for the gander. Don't fool yourself. Ain't no harm done calling on the name of huh? Y'all done forgot that name? Every now and then it's good. It's good for the choir. 
It's good for the church. I was listening to the choir saying, y'all still know what soprano alto and tenor are supposed to sound like. I'm going to get in trouble when I say this now. I'm telling you. Y'all have a man as a pastor. I'm watching some of y'all around here and all y'all britches was up. Y'all had belt song. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, holiness is slow, but it's for sure. Holiness is tight, but it's still right. That's why you got to stick with it. Anything fast don't last. Daddy say anything fast don't last, son. You got to get low and go slow. Before you mess around and get too high and you catch on fire. My dad ain't have no more than a third grade education. But he had some wisdom. The church has to go back to holiness. Well, yeah, we can model them. We can put LED lighting and, and change them. And now you notice, thank God, the pastor still have lighting that you could turn the lights on and off. There ain't nothing like claiming holiness in the Pentecostal way. And you got lights that you can dim. And now the saints don't know. Uh, Y'all ain't going help me here. Thank God for churches that still remain. I came in the office and the minister said, you know, we in the renovation. And I said, thank God. Ain't no need of you trying to fix it up. A bad for the preacher. I started the dancing in the spirit to know that there's churches that still keep it real. Y'all ain't going to talk to me here. Thank God for places, amen, that the pastor ain't coming in suave. Standing like a man. I like to see that. Any younger than me. Hallelujah. Even when he come down to Jacksonville, he represents well. Come on, give the Lord a great big praise for that. When I was playing for Ver uh, Reverend James Moore, Reverend James Moore told me we was touring and while he's touring, he said, now, God, son, in this industry, either you're going to be a hoe or a homo. I choose to be a hoe. <laughs> I was so glad he couldn't say he would choose to be a homo, but he just. <laughs> Some of y'all don't believe that. But you got to hold up for what you believe. Tell somebody to say, hang on what you believe now. You got to stick for what's right. Oh, I know I get in trouble for that, but I do it all over the world and still get invited to preach the churches. Because I believe we got to go back to the old landmark. Come on, the way of righteousness. Hallelujah. In a new generation. I teach all of our kids, all, all of our kids at the church now probably at the age of three, when they start talking, they can give you all 66 books right now. Right now. We're working on teaching them the plan of salvation. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. That's the goal. To teach the, gener teach the generation what you've been taught. Tell somebody to say, tell your children. To tell their children. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. God bless y'all. God bless you. Come on, let's clap our hands for Apostle Kelly. Come on, you can do better than that. Look at somebody and tell them better days are coming. No, 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 no. I want you to receive that. Say better days are coming. Point your hands towards the preacher. We speak strength to his body right now. Restore right now in the name of Jesus. Give him a double portion of everything that he poured out. In the mighty name of Jesus, strengthen his body now. And it is so. In Jesus' name. Somebody clap your hands and give God a real good praise. Hallelujah. Listen, God moved in this place. Did anybody really get a breakthrough today? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My sister on the corner there, let the tears flow. God is shifting things in your life. He's shifting things in your life. Amen. You got to know when somebody's getting a breakthrough. 
hear me, saints. You got to know when somebody's on the brink of a breakthrough. Because some folks are either going to break down or they're going to break through. But I'm deciding to break through rather than break down. I had enough breakdowns. Oh, somebody help me. I had enough breakdowns, but I'm going to break through. Because I know better days are ahead. One more time, clap your hands and give God a praise. Listen, we want to sow a seed. I need everybody that can stand with a $40 seed. I want you to stand with that $40 seed right now and make your way into the center aisle. Hallelujah. God bless you, Sister White. There's some more of us that can stand with that $40 seed. You're online, you're watching. You can do that $40 seed from your home. God bless you, Deacon Wilson. Amen. If you need the credit card machine, they can help you with that. God bless you, Mother Hudson. Hallelujah. Come on, there's some more of us that can stand with that $40 seed. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. The presence of the Lord is here. The presence of the Lord is here. I feel them in the atmosphere. The presence of the Lord is here. The presence of the Lord is here. The power of the Lord is here. Come on, come on, Mother Hudson. The power of the Lord is here. I can feel him in the atmosphere. Oh, the power of the Lord is here. Oh, yes, it is. The power of the Lord is here. Somebody lift your hands. The favor of the Lord is here. Come on, get that seed in your hand. The favor of the Lord is here. I feel him in the atmosphere. The favor of the Lord is here. Oh. Come on, somebody say the favor of the Lord. You might not have that $40 seed, but I want you to get the closest to it. Come on, come on, everybody, everybody, get your closest seed. Get your closest seed. Come on, everybody. Get your best seed. The healing of the Lord is here. The healing of the Lord is here. I feel him in the atmosphere. The healing of the Lord is here. Come on, everybody, you got that seed. Get into that center aisle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, the presence of the Lord is in this room. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Don't you know you can be one seed away from God breaking through your finances? Anybody, anybody believe you can give your way out of debt? You can give your way out of poverty? You can sow your way? Come on, somebody talk back to me. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Come on, hold that seed up in the right hand. Your right hand is the hand of blessings. It's the hand of authority. Father God, we thank you for the seeds that we're sowing. We know we're sowing it into good ground. And God, while we're sowing this seed, we need you to let our credit go up and our debt go down. In the name of Jesus, enlarge our territory through this seed. You brought us this far, God, so we're asking for double in the new year. We're asking for double in our finances. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody shout, here I go. Trust in God again. Come on, bring your seed and say, I'm blessed. The presence of the Lord is here. The presence of the Lord is here. I feel them in the atmosphere. Oh. Come on, y'all clap your hands. We getting ready to go. 
Come on, one more time. The presence of the Lord, presence of the Lord is here. The presence of the Lord is here. I feel him in the atmosphere. Oh, the presence of the Lord is here. The presence of the Lord is here. Come on, y'all clap your hands. Hey, hey. The presence of the Lord and how I'm going to get my blessing. All right, we're going to leave that alone. Thank you, musicians. Amen. Listen, I know Apostle said he was going to give his seed back to the ministry. And we thank God for that. But we want to be a blessing to this great man. Amen. We want to be a blessing. First lady got to go get some white castles. Everybody, grab that. Uh, everybody get something in your hands and come out from where, wherever you are. Come on, everybody get something. Come on, everybody get something in your hand. We want to bless the man of God. Look how big Mark get. Look at him. God bless you. Apostle Kelly, God bless you. We thank God for you. What a word from God. Hallelujah. Amen. We're getting ready to go. Before we go, some of y'all know we got some g Light sweets that will be on the side over here. We got uh, butter pecan cake. We got honey bun cake. And we got strawberry lemonade cake. And we got one sweet potato pie. It's a, it's a big one. We don't have no small one. And we got um, some cannoli cake. Amen. Hallelujah. And we got some um, cookies. lady working. Thank you for getting her attention. We got some cookies. Huh? All right. Well, that's that's what we got. All right. So if you want to get something from the G Light Sweet Shop, which is doing well. Yeah. Amen. We'll have some over there on the side there. Amen. Come on, let's stand. Watch night service, 10 p.m. Friday night. We will be here in the sanctuary. Amen. Watch night service, 10 p.m. on Friday night. And I'm going to say, if you are feeling ill, this is not, uh, I'm going to press my way. I've got 105 temperature, but I'm coming. Loose here. And stay there. And watch online. Amen. We, 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 we want to be wise in this season. Whether you're vaccinated or not, we're, so, we're seeing that it that really doesn't. Even with the booster, you can still get something. But one thing I know, the blood, it has never lost its power. Anybody covered with the blood? 
Listen, just do this for me real quick because we don't know what's waiting outside that door for us. Just throw your hand over your head and say, I'm covered by the blood. I wish somebody would catch that because when they see the blood, I don't care what it is because they got all these different variants. This ain't the last one. But whatever comes, Throw your hand over your head. Say, I'm covered by the blood. Come on, rest to your feet. Apostle Kelly's going to come and send us home. Clap your hands for them as they come. Remember, when your focus change, your feelings will change. When your faith change, your favor will change. When your friends change, your finances will change. Now may the grace of God, the sweet communion of his Holy Spirit, rest, rule, and abide henceforth and forever. Father, cover us from all mechanical failures, all freak accidents, all flat tires. We be so careful to give you the honor and the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shake somebody's hand and tell them you love them even if you don't know their name.